right. Oh, snap. Sweet. Oh, Siobhan must have ordered pizza. Contact list delivery, bro. Huh. That's weird. It's not exactly our address. Oh, I'll ask, uh, ask Siobhan. Hey, honey, honey. Um, hold on. Did you guys order a pizza? No. No? Huh, that's weird. We got a pizza. I thought I thought we ordered contactless pizza. Contactless delivery. Okay, well, uh, I'll figure it out. Thanks. You can just go fast. All right, well, let's back at the house. Let's see here. Huh. 122. 122 and an 8? 122 and an 8. Back of the house. What the heck is 122 and an 8? You're standing oh, on it, dude. Just slip it down here. Okay, um, I got some questions. Who are you? And why do you want my pizza? And also, uh, that's physically impossible to put this box in that little small little hole. You, you, give me that. Thank you. Yo, uh, it's a 20. My debit card was charged like 30 bucks, bro. You're two minutes late, dude. What? You don't exist. Why are you actually like, or only giving me 20 bucks? Wise man say forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza. I need to move way too weird around here. I thought I'd live just about anywhere. Everybody, welcome to a new episode of the J&J Toy Giants Toy Unboxing. It's your boy, JD. I got a brand new episode, exciting one for you guys. I'm going to be going over my very first NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, Leonardo and Donatello. And I'm also going to be unboxing Raphael and Michelangelo. Um, I've actually been looking for these two packs for the very long time since I actually even found out that they were actually making these toys. And uh, I first actually got the Splinter and the Shredder, which I'm going to be unboxing in another episode. But I wanted to get to the meat and potatoes of this line. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was one of my favorite movies of all time. I could recite this word for word. And I'm so excited to unbox these. I recently became aware that they were actually restocking these when the Super Shredder came out, which I also got. And I'm also going to be doing that on another unboxing as well. So I just uh, frantically tried to go to every Walmart almost every week trying to get these. And uh, I was so glad that within a week I was able to get these two uh, two packs. The only ones that I'm actually uh, looking for right now is the Casey Jones and the Raphael 2-pack. And if I can find a foot soldier, then I'll be good to go. Maybe the token Razar. Um, if, if I see it, then maybe I'll definitely get it. I know those are really hard to come by. But uh, I'm very excited to get these uh, opened up. And let's do what we always do. We're going to let them breathe. All right, so this is uh, kind of surreal for me, guys, because I've been looking to get these particular figures for the longest time, and uh, I'm really, really excited. As a collector, I think this is one of the biggest uh, finds that I've been able to get in the year and a half that I've been actually started collecting. As soon as I actually found out about these particular figures, that when they came out not too long ago, um, I saw it on, uh, I believe it was uh, the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. Uh, Matt Cardona started collecting these and I just had to have them. Um, I know that they first came out in like a 12 inch type deal where they were super, super big. Uh, and then of course they scaled them down into these kind of a six inch style uh, for the, you know, to be able to actually play with them or, you know, have a smaller scale on these particular figures. So I'm going to start off with Raphael. Oh, you know what? Actually, I think I lost the sign. Then it is gone. But I can get it back. I can get it back. Raphael, let it go. Hey. Oh, no, I found it. Here we go. Oh. 
three hours later. All right, so we're gonna start off with Raphael and Michelangelo. It's me. So right off the bat, I'm not even gonna pretty much just say anything that it hasn't already been said. Um, obviously, the head sculpts are freaking awesome. NECA, hats off to you, man. Hats off to you guys. Um, you just, even at this scale, it's still lifelike, you know? They look exactly like the, the movie Ninja Turtles. And um, I, I'm wondering when they're actually gonna be doing the turtles, um, the way they look in um, Secret of the Ooze, because these are actually from the original one, obviously, from the 1990 movie. Um, but I'm not sure if they're actually gonna be doing the ones from part two or part three, because obviously, there's so many, you know, that they can do, so much stuff that they can go as far as the uh, the actual creations of the next type of turtles. Obviously, they've been doing a lot of the cartoon versions, the ones from the game. So with Michelangelo, I mean, just take a look at the texture of the skin. It really looks like they're sweating almost in the light. Um, the the shells are, are really good and proportionate the way that they look when they were actually in the movie um, there's mikey's head sculpt where he's kind of have like you can see his tongue a little bit uh his chucks oh, a fellow chucker, eh? and so the one thing that i like about these is that they're i mean you can put stands on them if you really want to but they pretty much stand pretty well by themselves um I don't really think I, I don't think I have to use stands with these. I don't if I don't, if I don't want to want um, to, but definitely nice to have if you really want to put them on stands. And um, they come with extra hands. They come with each a uh, slice of pizza for each of them, and they come with uh, extra bandanas. So if you want to have the bandanas, um, you know, come down on the back of the, the side of the shell or maybe on the side of their shoulder, They're, they have a couple different ones you can you can use. Um, I like the way that they're set up, so I'm not going to be a real big psychopath on these at all. But definitely, um, like I said, I'm just kind of speechless, if you can kind of tell it in my voice, because I've been looking to get these for the longest time, and I thought for a while, I thought maybe it was just, I wasn't ever going to get those, you know, get these. And because of the, the obviously because they restocked them, because they started selling um, the Super Shredder, which I'm going to be unboxing in another episode as well. Um, these started to come out, and um, I mean, because it was really hard to get these for a while. Um, scalpers were selling them for the two pack for like 120 um, for the two pack, and then if you wanted to get maybe the all well, four of them, you're gonna have to pay like you know almost 400 bucks. And I'm just really, really jazzed at the fact that I have these two. Um, and I actually have all four because I'm going to be going over all four of them. But definitely one of the biggest highlights of my collection. The actual like ridges that you can show that they, they, they've been actually in some, some battles or the way that they grew up. They've had some scrapes when they were been um, fighting with the foot. And, you know, right here you can see with Mikey, he doesn't really have a lot, but with the Raph because... He got in that fight with the foot um, in the midpoint of the movie or like early part of the movie. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, I love these. Uh, now, the only thing is like, I don't know. I, I don't know if I want to put these on top um, and on my shelf because I have and I'll show uh, right now um, and I'll, I'll superimpose uh, a picture into while I'm talking of my collection. And that's where I have it on my top shelf, right next to my Ghostbusters. I don't know if I want to put these on the bottom or on the top, but that's the, the my ultimate. That's my first world problems that I'm, I'm dealing with right now with these particular figures. So um, definitely, so happy to get these after so long. And um, let's go with the next one. All right, so we got Donatello. We also got Leonardo. So just rounding out this particular video, um, just be very careful with these guys. If you actually get these, um, I'm trying to get Donatello's feet to kind of plant. There we go. 
there we go i was trying to i would i didn't want to break it so um so these um figures with donatello and uh leonardo they come with the same thing that like raf and michelangelo come with they come with a slice of pizza they come with their um extra hands and their weapons and some bandanas you can pretty much you know do whatever you want with it so uh, not much that I can say with these. I mean, obviously, again, the movie's head scan is superb. Like, it's spot on. It's nothing I can say bad about it. Um, but, um, and of course, with Leonardo, got his two katanas, the way that they have their, um, the, his sheath on the back. So if you want to just have him have it in the sheath and not in his hands however you want to and um i'd rather have uh i'd rather have donnie with his bow like this uh, like ready for battle so to speak so uh this is really really um a great piece and definitely i'm just having some issues with donnie's feet so I'll be very careful um i might have to take a blow dryer just so it can get it loose a little bit this one, I think I might have to do a stand, a stand just in case I'm having some problems with him. But um, shells look good with Donnie. You can see Donnie has uh, his shell. Uh, let me see here. It's, there's no really damage or anything like that from the movie or anything like that. So, um, and then of course, you can see Leonardo's shell. I mean, it's pretty cool. I. I would have never thought that they would ever have this type of an actual, like, figure. Like, I thought the closest we were going to get were the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie figures that we got after Secret of the Ooze came out. Because a, a, you're a big fit turtle fan and a figure collector, specifically both for the TMNT um, figures. You notice that when this movie came out, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990... Playmates did not come out with any figures for the movie because they didn't think that it was going to do well. And they were just focusing on the figures that they were already doing for the cartoon and stuff like that. So it was kind of like a, not necessarily a backlash. Um, it was kind of frowned upon from a lot of the collectors that people were big fans of the Turtles and who were also, um, you know, big collectors in, you know, figures just in general and um so when secret of the ooze came out they realized like listen we gotta have we gotta have a super shredder we gotta have uh splinter we gotta have you know the turtles and all that so they weren't gonna let those um slide at that point in time and then of course obviously when the third turtles uh movie came out they had that as well and so on and so forth so when NECA i guess got the license for the TMNT property, they figured like this is going to be making up for what we didn't have back then. I certainly am all for it. I'm a big fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, have been since I was a little boy. And um, I'm hopefully that my, my son Jaden um, is going to be a big fan. I know he likes the turtles, but I don't think he's a real big, huge fan like I am. But um, I love the the actual like even like look just look at this in the movie you can see that um leonardo had like a little bit of like a sunspot if you watch the movie and they every detail is where it's supposed to be the way that their skin look the spots that they have on their face i mean it's absolutely incredible um can't say enough about these um and up all right yeah so i'm telling you guys uh this definitely gonna have to get some NECA stands for these but I totally love this I can't say enough about it uh, I could scream into the mountaintops definitely if you guys are collector um and you <laughs> all right so I just put them on the stand and so I'm probably gonna get the one of those NECA stands that they have specifically for these type of figures um, definitely suggest to get these if you're a big TMNT fan or, um, you know, if you're just a NECA collector in general, but definitely love, love, love these figures and all right, wrap this baby up. 
Hey, I just wanted to say an extra special thank you for everyone who actually watched the video. I know just uh, you just finished watching the outro, but I wanted to say uh, stay tuned for the next video. Uh, oh, hey, what's going on, brother?